This is a contact sensor that I've made for detecting sounds like knocks on a tabletop so that that information can be turned into a position and made into um, MIDI notes. Should be a bit of fun. <laughs> um, I've had a bit of a problem actually trying to get a good clean pulse out of a um, pizza disc for, for timing so I've, I've had to actually kind of um, build these things where basically we've got a um, uh, there's an op amp here um, this is connected to the to a pizza disc which is stuck underneath it and there's also a 555 timer when a, when a pulse fires from the pizza disc the um, the 555 generates a nice clean timed output pulse that we can then use for um, feeding into our microcontroller. There's also a couple of little trim pots. This one here is the gain for the op amp. So this is the sensitivity of the sensor. And this is the pulse width that the 555 generates. So this gives us our, um, our output pulse. So we can decide how long that output pulse is going to be. Um, this is actually one of three of these. I've got two of them already set up here. This is one here. So you can see it's picking up picking up sounds and flashing the blue LED. There's another one over here. These are actually fed at the moment to a PIC down here which is turning that into MIDI information. Um, at the moment I've only got two of these so it's only actually um, working out a position along this front of the desk. Um, eventually I'm going to bring in this third one and um, kind of do a 2D type thing, but um, it's actually quite difficult to do the maths to, um, to triangulate this, so I'm still working on that. But anyway, let's have a look at this. I've, I've got them set up so they, they're going into Reason. So let's turn the sound up. And here we go, if I tap. so it kind of works. Um, it's pretty sensitive. If I get this little bit of wire, bit of wire and I'll just drop it, it even picks that up. <laughs> 